Hey everyone, it's Dana, and this is the look that we're going for today. It's just a, a fast, um, out the door, my go-to look. And to begin, I applied a Beijing Shade Stick. It's just a champagne-y color, a beige uh, shimmer color. The next thing I'm, I'm going to use, um, let's see, I've got the uh, Victoria's Secret Beach, Private Beach, and I also have the Under Your Spell by MAC. And these two purple colors are very similar. If I can open the Victoria's Secret, I always get that backwards. There we go. Ugh. Sorry, technical difficulties, but you can see. They are very similar in color, but for some odd reason I like the Victoria's Secret a little bit better. I think it brings out my green eyes more. So we're going to be taking a fluffy brush. This is the Sephora Rounded Crease Brush. And I'm going to be applying it all over the center of the eyelid up to the crease. Leaving um, plenty of room in the corner, in both corners of the eye. Picking up more product. Just making sure that I'm packing on lots of product so that it doesn't crease. The more shadow that you add to your eyelids, the less creasing because it absorbs the oils on your eyelid. Okay, all right. Next, I'll be taking another color. Um, these are two colors as well that I use. The first one is the Copper Plate by MAC. This to me is more of a gray plum color. It may actually look more of a brown on some people, but it's more purpley for me. And also Sketch. So I use these two colors. And uh, today we're just going to go for the Copper Plate. Okay, I'm taking my 217 by MAC and dipping into that Copper Plate and applying it. only about halfway in the crease into like a V shape. Okay, picking up more product, tapping it off because this does tend to have some fallout, this copper plate color. Making sure that you can see. Digging into that crease, nice and heavy. And bringing it in just to the center of the eye. Just blending it in basically. Okay, next I'm going to uh, wipe off the 217. I'm going to try to wipe off as much product as I possibly can because we're going to try to blend out the edge. And I usually take the side of the 217 just so that I'm not, in case there is any product whatsoever on there. And I'm just going to lightly, see how, I mean it's literally, my hand is literally resting on the edge. You just want to just lightly, if you keep doing the windshield back and forth motion, you're going to take a lot of product off and you really don't want to do that. Okay, next I'm going to be taking a L'Oreal, uh, it's called Sugar Coated, it's just a loose shimmer powder, it's very, very pretty. You've probably seen this in my past. And I'm going to be just dipping it, uh, dipping my pinky into it and using it as a highlight. So all in there. Don't worry, just blend it out. <laughs> it's not scary. There we go. And into the corner of the, the eye. Okay, then I'm going to take a little bit more. And this is just like, it's just the tiniest little bit. I'm going up under the eyebrow as a highlight. Like that. Okay. All right. And I'm going to take a brush and wipe off the fallout. Because I do have some fallout from that copper plate. Okay. Next, I'm going to be taking an angle brush. This is a Smashbox angle brush. I'm going to wipe it off a little bit because it did have some eyeliner from the other eye. And I'm going to be dipping it into the copper plate and bringing it under the eye. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And I'm just going to blend it down just ever so slightly and right into the corner. 
And I'm going to barely bring it in. See how that kind of fades? Just slightly. Okay, like that. Okay. Then, let's see. Then I'm going to be taking a uh, an eye coal pencil. This one happens to be the Smolder by Mac, but you can use whatever you know, whatever your go-to product is. I'm going to be doing the uh, waterline or tight line, whatever you want to call it. Carrying it into the eyelashes just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to barely do just a little line, not even halfway. Because this is a go-to product, or go-to look. It's fast, it's quick. And then I'm going to take my angle brush, and I'm going to just barely bring that down into the eyelashes just a little bit. Not much. And into the corner. Okay, and then I'm going to just take the corner, this corner here, and I'm going to just flick it out just and up just a little bit like that. And then I'm just gonna start to blend it, to smudge it. That's why I love this, because it's very smudgy. Some people may not like it because it's smudgy, but I like it because I can just barely, there we go. I have to push my eyelashes down sometimes so I can get in there. All right, like that. And then, uh, let's see, next is the eyelashes. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Okay. And then, uh, because it is my go-to look, I'm using my Lash Blast Luxe. It's the pink. And this one happens to be the burgundy, like the red glittery color. Let's see if you can see that. It's really pretty. I would do uh, at least two coats. I like this eye this uh, mascara because it has the glitter in it and it has color. I love colored mascara. Just a hint of color. It's really pretty. If I, if I could, if I could somehow justify it, I would probably use the YSL Faux Seals all the time. But I just think it's too expensive for the product only lasting, you know, a few months. Okay, and I'm going to do under the eye. Don't forget those bottom eyelashes. It makes your eyes appear appear bigger. My bottom eyelashes are almost as long as my top. And before those dry, I do a little bit of a second coat so that I'm still pushing those my lashes up. All right. All right. And for the lips, I used uh, MAC, the lip jelly, in the uh, Resort Life, just for a little bit of a color. Uh, the cheeks, I think, is Swoon. Swoosh. Oh, I can't remember. Um, I'll put all the other products over in the uh, sidebar, wherever, whichever side it'll be. And hopefully you all enjoyed this look. And let me know uh, if you like it, if you try it. Thanks so much. Bye.